It's Saturday morning. It's time for a coffee date. We don't always know what we're getting into, but boy, did we get into it on this one. Look at this place. It's called Vienna Bistro. The Bistro is located in Cooper City, Florida, on the greatest street name I've ever heard, Flamingo. Well, I've heard of Saguaro. That's a toss-up for me. Back to this place. When we walked in, there were a couple things we didn't know about. Number one, this is a fancy brunch, high tea kind of place, and we were looking for a coffee shop. The girl obliged us, and she packaged everything to go, but we didn't want it to go. We wanted to sit and enjoy this. We didn't realize they weren't even opened yet. She was kind and brought us our exquisite coffee and a white chocolate raspberry scone. Now, normally, I don't like scones. They're like a really bad biscuit. Sorry, Brits. But this white chocolate raspberry scone was terrific. I've seen online where people have given reviews and they don't like this place. They complain. They complain about the scones. But the day that we were there, the coffee was wonderful. I did have it with cream and the scone was amazing. Even though it was served on this china that was chipped, I think that gave it a little bit of character. If you have a chance to be in the Miami area and go over there and see this place, it's definitely worth it. I met several people that this was their favorite place to go, not just for high tea, but also a nice dinner. I do have today's coffee tip. You'll have to wait. It won't be long. The Vienna Cafe and Bistro is a unique, casual European eatery. And the china, the tea set, I have the exact same one. That was so cool. I know it's a popular pattern, but isn't it pretty? But I do need to ask this. Have you subscribed yet? If you haven't, why not? Can you do that right now? And if you have, thank you. The coffee was great, and I would love to go back there sometime for high tea. You know I often give you a tip in these coffee date videos. Okay, you ready for today's coffee tip? Don't tell anybody, but we went back to Blackrock, a different one. We went to the one in Willis, Texas. They had a different mural, as you can see. But I was talking to the girl, and I told her that last week I went to Blackrock and got the Mexican mocha, and it was way too sweet. And she said, we can do it half sweet or a quarter sweet. We can do whatever you want. I didn't even know that. Well, she got me the caramel truffle half sweet. It was excellent. A little too sweet. So next time I'll probably try the quarter sweet. I had no idea you could do that. So if you think things are going to be a little bit too sweet, just ask them to dial it back. And this almond croissant, it might have been the best croissant we've ever had. The sign says they get it from a local bakery. And I asked the barista and she said, yes, it comes from a bakery in Houston. It was Grumptious? They didn't slide you on the almond extract in this buttery croissant. I have one more thing to tell you. It's like a history tip, of course. Between Willis, Texas, which is about 50 miles north of Houston, as you head north on I-45, almost to Huntsville, you will see the General Sam Houston statue. You know, I've talked about Sam Houston, right? You know him and Stephen F. Austin. They buy for the father of Texas. A little bit about this statue. It's 67 feet high. It was made in 1994. It weighs 20 tons. And you know what? This is horrible. It was vandalized in 2008, but it looks like they put it all back. Why do people do this? It is the ninth tallest statue in the United States. And we just learned there's a visitor center. Guess where we're going this week? We'll have another video from. Yes, the visitor center. Maybe we can get up close. We'll let you know. Flip-flops on the ground. And classic road trip. And if you like these coffee date videos and the tips, go to the playlist. Food. For more Saturday morning coffee dates and other great places to have fabulous meals. Most of them are really pretty too. And my books, The Unclassic Road Trip, Western, Central, and Eastern Editions. I just finished updating the Central Edition. 75 more pages, y'all. Lots of new stuff. I'll tell you when they're available. It'll be in less than two weeks. And if you want to see where we went last week, just click this link. Have a good weekend. Thank you.